Kento Nanami from Jujutsu Kaisen. So let's give this a go. <clears throat> so I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So we're gonna start with those glasses, right, that he has on his face. So, let me see. Yeah, it's probably the best place to start. So, just coming across his nose. So, we're gonna go curve line. Going across the nose this way, right? Like this. And these sort of join his glasses, right? So, two of them. So you've got a bit comes in here on the bottom. Goes in there. Same kind of on the top. Although kind of more this way. Right? These sort of connectors. Roughly the same on both sides. They don't have to be exactly the same. Right, and then these join these circles that kind of go around. That. Let me see this like goes around. Same over here. Well, they can connect, but I'll just bring them to about there. Because he has these bits on top that kind of come come around this way, right? So you've got another sort of layer that sticks out here, goes down the back, and into there, right? So these kind of come around here like that. And then there is these circles, are they? Or sections just at the back. I'll do them square like that and then there's another circle in the middle now if you have like a stencil for circles that will make things much easier or a compass or something right come like that and then we'll do something similar on the other side so just coming around here the side of these And we'll give them those sort of circles or sections there. Right, and we'll go inside as well. Another circle just coming around. Tricky to do freehand, but we'll do our best. Roughly like that. Sometimes you can see his eyes inside, but we'll just leave them sort of green for the purposes of this drawing. Let's come across, actually finish there. Keep it even on both sides. So then we got then so his nose sort of comes down from here right so it comes down and then kind of hooks in here and then with the nostril like that the nose line will kind of continue up to his eyebrow area sort of here right so he's got like a frown and then an eyebrow that comes across the top of his glasses real thin at the end and then comes back there and there is some texture lines on it same thing on this side eyebrow goes back square end and then make it skinny just going back this way and add some texture frown lines like that and then we got his mouth so he's open mouth so kind of semi-open right so his mouth top lip and it comes down kind of like a stretched out sort of letter m 
Now you can leave it closed if you if you don't want to open it, but I'll just copy the image. So we'll open it a little bit. Makes it more interesting. It's like a bow from the bow and arrow. That's what it reminds me of. And then his bottom lip line just there. He's got quite severe features, so like a thin sort of mask. And then his chin, square chin, run across this way. And if you're wondering about proportions of things, right? So roughly eye to the nostril is about the same as nostril to the chin, right? It varies in anime. Sometimes it can be the eyebrow, depends on the, the character's pose. So if it's head forward, head back, you know, in this one anyway, center of his glasses here, where his eye would be this distance, is the same as this and then nostril to bottom lip is the same as bottom lip to chin right that's normally always the same so here depending on if the mouth's wide open or not but here to here is about the same as there to there and then we'll go for the jaw put it up the side real sharp angle of the jaw right like so It's about in line with the nose here. So his head is, is tilted a bit forward. Normally the jawline's in line with the teeth. So we'll go up the side of the face. Like so. And then his cheekbone sort of line. So you'll have like those sort of things like this. He's got real severe sort of cheeks. And he's got some sideburns just coming down his face. And these eventually join the side of his hair just here. You know, his hairline just here. And his sideburn becomes his ear as well. So the sideburn will go up around for his ear, down, around for his ear this side. To there. Then we got some sideburns this side and an ear on this side. This side is like it's like this side of his face is a bit skinnier. That's what it looks like. It's like it might be turned away slightly. Right, so this ear is kind of skinnier than that ear. You don't have to do it that way, but I'll just draw it the way I see it, I guess. Ear lines inside. Lots of different ways of doing this now. side as well. Like that. So now it's fringe. So this forehead is about the same as eyes to nose. Like eyebrow to nose, about the same as eyebrows to top of the forehead, right? And then you got you've got like hairlines just here. And he does have a part in his hair here, right? So this eventually changes direction in the middle. And then we go down the side of his head to his sideburn on that side. Some lines there for his temples, kind of. Like so. So we've got like real combed, sort of slick kind of hair. That's what it looks like anyway. So. Coming out of here, we've got like a hairline that comes down this way. And it goes back up, like so. And then coming out kind of from the back of his ear, some more hairlines going this way, and another one coming down here. Some texture lines just coming out from his fringe. That's a real particular sort of hairstyle, so take your time. And then another spike on its own here. And he's apart in the middle of his hair, right? So he's got these lines that go in separate directions, right? So like 
one across like this. And these will, will just go all the way up to this sort of this top of his head, kind of look this way. And the top of his head will go across here. And I think there's like another sort of hair spike sticking off this way. And then this comes down, another hair spike. Like there, and then the side of his head, sort of. All right. And then the other side. Spike game. Down. Behind his ear. And you can add as much sort of texture to that as, as you want. So, so he's doing his, um, so you know the his tie, he has his tie off and he's doing his like, he's using his powers basically, I don't know what it's called, it's not a domain expansion, it's just kind of a standard move in Jujutsu Kaisen, cursed energy sort of move. So there's a hand like coming up here and then a hand coming across holding the tie. So, what to do? So we'll go, we'll just get his shoulders, I think, in the right place, and maybe his suit jacket, because there's like a hand coming across here. So let's say we got a shoulder, like just coming out here. And then his jacket sort of comes down this way. So you know those sort of jacket lines that are on a suit. So lapel, I think is what it's called. Now it goes behind his hand here somewhere, so you might have to raise stuff. The other side of his shoulder. Just here. Okay. There's like some folds. And his arm just goes this way. So his elbow is bent coming across his body here. So I'll, we'll just do his neck and stuff in here first. So he's got um, a neckline, say, going that way, and a neckline, or like a shirt line, just there. And his shirt kind of comes in towards the middle here, crisscrosses, goes behind like that. And then we have some anatomy. So, and then a short line just here. Like that. And then another sort of short line here. And his other shoulder and suit jacket line just goes off here. See more of this now. His, his hand doesn't cross this. If you want, you could finish that the same, but there's no point because you'll have to raise it anyway. And then his shoulder goes in behind his other hand, which comes up here. So hands and stuff now are tricky, right? So I'm going to do the hand that comes across this section first, and then we'll deal with the big hand, which is in kind of a harder pose. So let me just zoom in here. Right, so elbow sticks out, right? So hand coming across here. So hand in this and then sleeve. So we'll go sleeve. So kind of comes behind and then goes this way. And his elbow kind of goes down off my page there. Right. Shirt sleeve, 
down around his wrist, just here. I think he's got a watch. I might leave the watch. You could draw the watch if you want, but I'll, I'll just leave it. We'll go for his wrist because it's kind of intricate. And we won't make things harder than we have to. So his, his hand here comes out and then the other side, that's his thumb, knuckle, here, right? So then he, he's wrapping his tie around this hand and this hand at the same time, right? So his index finger kind of comes up this way, around, down, like that. You could have like some knuckle lines just on top, a knuckle line here. Right, and then the other three knuckles goes down. This way, some knuckle lines just going down his hand, like the palm of his hand. Another skin line there. Knuckle line. And then his little finger comes down and joins the back of his hand here. Okay, so that's it's pretty tricky. So pause it there if you need to. So that's his shirt, and then like sometimes these knuckle lines can go a bit farther. Right, so tie is coming around his hand. So we'll go. We'll just bump it sort of this way. Right. And then around here. Right, so it's kind of wrapping itself, sort of so it wraps around. So you might have some extra sort of lines just going over. Like that. And of course it's got um, black dots and stuff. And then the tie sort of hangs down here. Okay, so like the rest of the shirt that we can see kind of in behind, you know, the lines of his shirt, the sort of fold lines and things. I think there's a button here somewhere, but it's kind of in behind his tie, so we'll draw the rest of the tie first and then finish the shirt. So his other hand let me, comes up here real big, right? So coming up from the bottom of my page, we'll just do some kind of like roughly drawn in kind of line here, right? And he's got a suit sleeve line. Some folds there and his shirt line comes out of here like so and then the hand is doing this this kind of thing so this is kind of tricky right so hands are complicated anyway but when they're in these intricate poses they're kind of hard so the hand is out here, bumps around the palm of his hand into there. And then the underside of the hand goes back this way. And we start to meet knuckles and things here. And then his wrist will go back down into his shirt sleeve there. Okay. So I think this is his ring finger knuckle. But like the palm, this W shape, see here? joins your thumb, okay? So, thumb goes around, and his thumb is like up. Okay, it's pointing like up. And there's knuckles and things on this side. We'll do the thumb first. Okay, so the thumb sort of sticks out here. And then around the top. Again this way. 
we join the palm of his hand there. Okay, but we have four fingers coming down in a row. They're all in different positions. So they're like this kind of thing. So we'll start, we'll start with this, his ring and his pinky finger, right? So this is the ring knuckle. And your fingers have three segments, right? So one, two, three. So when you bend your finger, one, two, three. Two knuckles in here and one at the end. So that's this knuckle. So you go once, you meet a knuckle, change direction, right? You meet another knuckle, you change direction again. So you're curving around, right? And you got these little bumps for knuckles, one, two, three. Then his finger curves around here. And it meets the next segment, so there, and then the next segment there. And then his little finger is here. And so we go one, two, curved around here for third segments. And there's a little line for skin. Top of his finger curves around like so. And they're like folded in on top of one another. So those three segments are real small. There's fingernails and stuff, but we'll just get the rest of them done. So his middle finger then, so we got like, we can see the knuckle just sort of sticking out here. Goes back, first segment, knuckle, first segment. Then you go knuckle, second segment. And then you bump over the knuckle, third segment. And your middle finger is your biggest finger. And then this curves around, one, Okay. And then his index at the back is sticking out this way. So knuckle, so segment, knuckle, segment, knuckle, and segment. And then you curve around. One, two, third going in that way. Right? So difficult enough hand position now. And then you can add things like knuckle lines, some details. You know, just like skin lines on the knuckles. And fingernails. So just coming around the top. Stuff like this. Okay, so now what we have to do is tie the tie to this hand, okay? So they're joined, right? So you're gonna do a line just coming down, cross your body that way, then the other side of it. Like that. And then on it like so and then we'll finish some of his clothes lines and stuff just in here so like texture lines i think there is a button here i can just see a little bit of one going that way and some lines coming down here So, all right. So these are just all fold lines on his suit and things for his arm. And then the tie is wrapped around the palm of his hand as well. 
right? So if we draw some of that in. So it like wraps around his hand here, it just crosses his palm. So it goes around it. So that goes around there. And then it kind of comes around his knuckle here and wraps around his little finger in there. And then this will have some lines that kind of go around one another. There. Another one maybe here. Right, and adding the black spots will really indicate that it's Nice little trick just to show that it's tie rather than skin or like some other right. like so okay so then if you want cursed energy sort of coming around them Lots of different ways of drawing this now, but you basically just add all these lines of like fire going around his hand. And in this anime, it's kind of like, it's quite thick lines, you know, there's, you know, it's done like with a paintbrush originally. We, we're using markers and pencils, so. So lots of this kind of stuff now. So always fun kind of doing this kind of thing. So you can stop whenever you want, really. But I think I'll leave it there. I'm gonna add too much more. So there you go. Nanami, Kento. Nanami from Jujutsu Kaisen. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.